Hello and welcome to Value Chain News. I am Naomi Oleribe. First, the headlines. Savannah strikes Nigerian gas deal. 100 youths begin NCDMB ITF vocational training in Abuja, Nigeria, others missing in top global LNG exporters. And now, the news in detail. Africa focused Savannah Energy has entered a deal to sell gas to Central Horizon Gas CHGC, a gas distributor in Nigeria's South South region. CHGC operates a 17 kilometer gas pipeline that delivers gas to more than 185 industrial and commercial customers across cities in southern nigeria including lagos and potakot the gas will be delivered via savannah's ikot abasi facility and then by third party infrastructure to chgc in the potakot area deliveries are due to commence in the next 12 months with the timing dependent on chgc finishing work to connect to third-party infrastructure. 100 Nigerian youths have commenced training in the vocational skill program sponsored by the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board NCDMB and facilitated by the Industrial Training Fund ITF. The training covers eight skill areas which include information and communication technology, electrical and electronic technology, industrial automation and mechatronics, instrumentation and process control. Others are mechanical services and maintainers, mobile phone repairs and troubleshooting, residential air conditioning and refrigeration maintainers, and building technology. The program, which has a duration of six months, is the second edition. The first edition was in 2021, which trained 254 youths and equipped them with starter packs and resources for effective takeoff. The executive secretary of NCDMB, Engineer Simbi Wabute, who spoke at the kickoff of the training in Abuja, expressed delight that many participants from the first program have started their own businesses and some got formal employment to support the economy. The high level of success motivated the need to carry out the second batch of the training, he said. <laughs> Nigeria and other African nations are missing in the list of countries with superlative performance in global liquefied natural gas LNG exports and demand markets. The country's poor global LNG performance rating is contained in Shell Annual LNG Outlook released in London yesterday. Despite the fact that Nigeria topped LNG exporters in 2021 with 17.9 million metric tons, followed by Algeria with 12.3 million metric tons and Egypt with 6.9 million metric tons, Nigeria and other African countries failed to record a spot in this year's global LNG rating. It was disclosed that the US led 2021 export growth with a year-on-year -year increase of 24 million tons and is expected to become the largest LNG exporter in 2022. LNG exports grew in 2021 despite a number of unexpected outages that dented LNG's availability for delivery. The head of Libya's National Oil Corporation, NOC, Mustafa San Ala, during the week inaugurated the new oil field in Hamada region operated by the Arabian Gulf Oil Company. The corporation shared a video of San Ala and his delegation during the tour of the site. San Ala revealed earlier that his administration seeks to maintain production levels at 1.2 million barrels per day, hoping to add 18,000 new barrels to the production lines if plans to open open two fields this year go ahead as scheduled.
Germany has halted the approval of the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline in response to Russia's latest maneuvers in Ukraine. Chancellor Olat Scholz said the country has ordered the withdrawal of a key document needed for certification of the pipeline from Russia. It comes after Russian President Putin declared that he recognizes the two separatist held regions independent in eastern Ukraine and sent in troops. The pipeline being constructed to convey natural gas from Russia to Germany has long been criticized by the US and some European countries who argue that it increases Europe's reliance on Russian energy supplies. Mr. Scholes said his government had decided to reassess the certification of Nord Stream 2, which hasn't begun operating yet in the light of the latest development. He had previously been hesitant about committing the pipeline to any sanction package despite long-standing pressure from Ukraine officials. In line with plans to develop indigenous technologies to advance the nation's digital economy, the Minister of Communication and Digital Economy, Isa Pantami, has directed the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, to come up with an innovative solution for the nation in the next six months. Pantami gave the directive in Abuja in a keynote address at the median edition of the prototype and research exposition of the NCC, themed the drive to Towards commercialization of telecoms research for sustainable development in the industry. According to the minister, the aim of the two-day exposition was to create opportunities for the academic awardees of the NCC's telecommunication-based research innovation projects and to display already developed prototypes to the industry stakeholders such as telecoms operators, vendors, investors and fellow academics. Before we end the news, here's a recap of our headlines. Savannah strikes Nigerian gas deal. 100 youths begin NCDMB ITF vocational training in Abuja. Nigeria orders missing in top global LNG exporters. And that's the news. I am Naomi Oleribe. Good evening.